or for that carefree picnic, you might want something with watermelon. <laughs> then if you travel a lot, you probably need an intimate little pocket. <laughs> and you open this up, Velcro, for money and credit cards. <laughs> Many may have wondered what lies beneath the doll's slinky look. And if you guessed a G-string, well, you're almost right. It's actually a Lee string, Lee Meredith, the doll's own little creation. I had just been working in a show called Burlesque USA as the comedian or the straight lady. So I picked up all these tips from the strippers. I learned how to bump real well, too. <laughs> but on top of that, I learned all about their little uh, G-strings that they made and how practical they were. That they're not just for, you know, fooling around. They're really for everyday use. This would match my kitchen. <laughs> no kidding. I have a red kitchen. That's just what Lee Meredith wants to hear. Lee strings are made for almost every occasion, from camping to the boardroom. And Bloomingdale's Intimacies director, Lee Febreze, thinks the line will take off as women start putting them on. Which is a divorce <laughs> pattern. What Lee has done is she's brought it to another dimension. She's just played at fantasy with lingerie and that's what lingerie should be treated as me in women's underwear what are you crazy but that's exactly where Bert Stratford now finds himself while on screen the public sees his wife Lee as Mickey Spillane's none too bright girlfriend but I know it wasn't me off screen her producer husband Bert is marketing the Lee strings he also knows what the doll is really like great uh, emotional, uh, warm. If I was not in show business, I would be probably the most jealous, jealous man that you've ever met in your entire life. I'd probably walk around with a six-shooter on my side or something, you know. But that's a side of her that is known to the public. And the other side of her is known to myself and to my family. Tastes great. <laughs> Less filling. Come on. <laughs> you know, they're two different characters. I think if I really believed that I was the doll, I couldn't live with myself because, you know, we're in those commercials making fun of ourselves. We're almost like a joke. You! I thought it was a costume party! I very rarely like the doll. Sometimes when I come home from being on tour, working with Noah all the time, I'll walk in the door and the girls will have the music on and we'll, be, we'll dance all over the house for the longest time. It'll get me real silly. And I'll start talking and be real crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and they do that too. My oldest daughter will go, okay, mom, this is you. Cheese. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lee can slip into character at will, and perhaps because she plays the part so well, the public becomes the one who's really being put on. I realize most people can see through that. Most people have the depth, the insight to be able to say, hey, this is an act. You know, this woman's got it together. This is just an act that she's putting on. But it's when some of them don't realize it, and they say things to me like, uh, uh, my name's Bob, it's B-O-B, -B. and I go, and they're serious. They really think I can't even spell their name. <laughs> but how dumb can you be to have starred in 20 popular commercials that are all based on a character that Lee discovered when she was a girl? I wore one of my mother's dresses and marabou feathers, and it was kind of... Uh, very form-fitting, and I got up and went, well, what has she got that I haven't got? <laughs> this is at 12 years old. And so that was a part that I had found of the doll at that early age. I could put that part of that person away and go, hey, when I need that, I'll use it. And to this day, that girl <laughs> is making me money. <laughs> Both on screen and off. <laughs> what do you think? Next up, meet the people who try out products for you.